thanks for popping in for this five minute tutorial about Google Jamboard. I'm Cheryl Ann Amendola and I want to show you Jamboard. Google Jamboard is an app through Google that allows you to have an interactive whiteboard with your class. This can be used with hybrid learners so that everyone can quote unquote come to the board. It can be used in a classroom where you're doing social distancing or it can be used in a classroom that is completely virtual. So it's a super useful tool that can help you assess students' learning as a formative assessment. You can use it to keep track of what's going on in your class, and you can also use it to enhance engagement. All right, so I'm gonna create a new Jamboard by pressing the plus button in the corner. Once my jam is created, you'll see that I have a blank screen, a lot like my whiteboard in my classroom. At the top, if I tap here, it allows me to add different boards. Okay. If I tap over here, this shows me the different pens. It also has different colors that I can use. There's a highlighter. This is kind of like a paint pen. We have a paintbrush. I'm gonna leave it on the pen tab for now. And I'm also gonna change the color to green because I think that's kind of fun. It also has something called assistive drawing tools. So if I tap here, this tool will turn my handwriting into text. It's pretty intuitive and works pretty well. This tool will change my shapes into pretty much perfect shapes. And this will change my drawings and my doodles into kind of cuter sketches. Okay. This over here is my eraser. So if I draw something, I'm using an Apple Pen right now, but you can simply use your finger as well. This is my finger, okay? And I accidentally left assistive drawing on, so I'm gonna turn that off. Okay. And here's my eraser. So I can erase everything that I've written, okay? Um, over here, this is a laser pointer. It'll leave this on the screen just for a moment. Okay. The arrows. Kind of a select tool okay and this little plus sign here is super helpful because it allows you and students so once you share your jamboard with students they'll be able to draw on it too if you give them access it allows you to add sticky notes so you can actually do a little word wall with your students if you want to it allows you to add images from your own camera roll it allows you to add PDFs or other stuff from Drive. It allows you to take pictures with your own camera. And it gives you some stickers, which is kind of fun. So if I use my fingers, I can stretch that out. And then I'll add an image. I was doing the Egypt before. But today, I think I'll do um, Alexander Hamilton, okay? And the image that's, that it searches are all ones that are legal and free of copyright for you to use. And all we have to do is drag Alexander Hamilton onto the screen. There he is. And now I can instantly have students, quote unquote, come to the board and assess them. So perhaps I want my students to tell me, what would Alexander Hamilton say to Thomas Jefferson about joining the French Revolution? One of them might volunteer and they could choose to type in here if they want to. Okay. And they can write in the, um, in the sticky note make Alexander Hamilton a little bit smaller. They can write in this little speech bubble sticky note. Don't go to war with France. Too expensive. And now I've had my students interacting with me, interacting with the board. They're a little bit more engaged because they're able to do this work on their own. Now I could also create an entire lesson and do this kind of like Google Slides, 
but a, but a little bit more interactive. So I can add another board to my jams, and then I might add another image of Thomas Jefferson. And have students tell me, and have students tell me what might Thomas Jefferson have said to Alexander Hamilton in this same situation. Okay. So there we have it. We've got Jefferson and we've got our speech bubble. Now, this could also be useful for other classes besides social studies. You might want to use it in a math class so that you can write down numbers and equations and have students come to the board and solve those as well. Uh, you might create an entire lesson around this. I've also used this with maps and geography where I've had students label the Nile River area and Upper and Lower Egypt. So there are many uses for Jamboard and its tools. How do you think you'll use Jamboard in your class?